Hard to believe there's a partial ban on plastic bags in Ethiopia. It's just not working. Instead, with little recycling to talk of, there are huge illegal plastic wastelands. Ethiopia's population is growing fast, but so too is its plastic consumption. And almost half of the plastic used here is discarded improperly. It's getting into the food chain. The site you're about to see is shockingly familiar in parts of rural Ethiopia. The young calf is getting local anaesthetic. The animal will stay awake whilst they cut open its rumen and see what's causing a blockage in the stomach. This one is a foreign body. That this is one? plastic. That looks like a plastic bag, yeah. right? This is plastic, plastic one. This one? Oh, that is quite a big bit of plastic as well. I couldn't explain. It is very bad for, uh, for us also, you know. It is, it, it, uh, this uh, reduces the movement of the rumen, so anything cannot go to the it's next compartment. So it will accumulate inside the rumen. So it is very difficult for the animal. No. And there's even more to come. Look how uh, the stomach's gone down so much already. Yes. Oh. Jeez, they're having trouble pulling it out. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, my God. This one. It's hard, right? Plastic. This is a big problem for us. No? So we should combat this uh, problem since uh, we don't have uh, a good management of waste uh, disposal every everybody is dumping these plastic bags to the uh, uh, everywhere so the animal will eat in amongst all of this is someone's plastic hairband there's plastic bags there's huge tangled web of plastic which is some of it which has solidified it's been in there all this in a one-year-old calf the vets are even surprised and I think it's indicative of just how bad the problem is becoming and the sheer scale of it. Within an hour, the calf is looking a little bit stunned, but pretty much back to normal. But the vets fully expect to see him again. But do you think the chances are yeah. that he'll yeah. be back again? Yeah, he will be back. He will be back. And it's not just the animals in danger. Scientists believe microplastics are being disseminated through the soil and then into the water table. If there's a problem here, at one of the sources of the River Nile, what are the implications for the 300 million people reliant on Africa's longest waterway for their survival? Alex Crawford, Sky News, Ethiopia.